Okay, so um, let's go on to um, another thing that's going to be really useful for your projects as well, and that's kind of defining a, a custom function. Whatever that function may be, you just want to have something coming in and something going out. And you want some custom function in there um, that y you can write a script, you can write something else that, that's going to, you know, like let's say an if statement. Let's do an if statement in a custom function, okay? Um, so I have a, um, let me drop in a, a sign function. Okay, so there's a, there's a sign function, and as time progresses, that, that signal is going to change as a, a sinusoidal. Uh, actually, that's a, I need a sign input. There we go, sine wave. Okay, so there's a sine wave, and let's just hook up a scope to that just to see what the value is going to be coming out. Hey, that's it, sinusoidal. Logan says it. Okay, there it is. He was right. Okay. So now we want to say, um, you know, we want to take the absolute value of that. Let's say we want to take, uh, so what we're going to do is, is come over here to user defined functions. Okay, and then there's a, there's a couple that are listed here. Uh, you can have a MATLAB function. It'll try to compile that into like um, an executable file. I like using this interpreted MATLAB function. Okay, this is, uh, if you come in here and open it up, you can define a uh, any script file that you have. Okay, so I'm going to call this uh, my uh, function. Okay, so this is my custom. Uh, can you guys see that very well on the screen? Or do you make, need to make it maybe a little bit bigger? Let me just increase the size just a little bit. Yeah, so this is just going to be a custom function. So you can be whatever you want it to be. You have inputs coming in, and then you can uh, do some calculations and then an output that comes out of it. Okay, and that can be anywhere in your in your Simulink um, diagram. So I'm going to zoom in. Okay, um, so I've I've called this my function, and then what you need to do is is go back to your MATLAB and make sure you're in the right um, directory. So I'm I'm going to just uh, Let's see, look for my desktop. Okay, I'm just going to put it on my desktop and then I'm going to create a uh, new file here. And I can do my uh, function.m. Okay, replace <coughs> the extension there and that'll become a MATLAB function file. Okay, and then I open it up and it's going to bring open the uh, MATLAB editor. And okay, and then I can do. Um, function y equals my function u. So u will be my input, y will be my output. Okay, so I've, I'm creating a new function and then I'm just going to say that y equals absolute value of u. Okay, so I've just said uh, absolute value is going to have u coming in, y going out. If you have multiple inputs then you might have something like uh, y equals absolute value of u plus uh, u, let's see, u2 squared plus absolute value of u1. Okay, so there's uh, two inputs, and you just put those in the soft brackets. Um, those those became your uh, your inputs to your system. It's still a u coming in, but that will be u1, and u2 will be a vector instead of just a single variable. Okay, so here's here's my function. And uh, you know, if you want to put a breakpoint in here, you just select the line where you want to break, and then as it's running the Simulink file, it'll stop at that point, and you can mouse over your variables; it'll pop up with the current values. Okay. So Question. Yeah. So let's change our Simulink function now. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Okay. And um, let's have a, a sine wave coming in, and then also a uh, constant coming in and and then I'm going to do a mux okay let me do a mux here and that combines uh, two signals into one okay okay so this is my u value coming in and, and actually if I if I don't do that it'll give me an error and tell me I need two signals coming in I only have one okay um, 
let's go ahead and just and plot that. Um, anything else we need here? So is the top one U1 by default? Yeah, the top one's going to be U1, the bottom one's going to be U2. You can also have multiple outputs as well, okay, from that custom function. More than just one input and one output. Okay, so I had a break point there. It came in with a value of U. Okay, and then uh, let me select continue. And then it's going to come here again. I have a value of 1. Okay, continue again. And let's say I get tired of, of clicking continue all the time. I can get rid of the break point and then just click continue. Okay, so there's my new function that uh, came out um, in this scope. I had the absolute value plus the square of uh, this function. Okay, it looks like it's a little bit um, choppy there. Okay, you see how you, see, you can see a couple jagged edges. Um, what you might need to do is come into simulation and model configuration parameters. We did this with some of you on, on your other uh, labs and did um, it just changed the max step size. Okay, it's going to take a little bit longer to run, but you can set that step size to whatever you want. And then when you simulate it again, it's going to look a lot smoother, okay, because you don't have some of the numerical integration errors. Okay, so any or aliasing, that kind of thing. It tries to find its optimal step size, but sometimes it doesn't do a good job on that. Okay, any questions on this? If you had two outputs in, your, in the MATLAB function, would you just put y1 equals and y2 equals? Yeah, let's, let's open that up. Um, so if I have my function here, um, go ahead and open it up, and I say, y1 uh, equals absolute value of u1 and then y2 equals u2 squared okay and then uh, if I run it it's going to it's, it's going to come up with a, a you know a scope can have one or two um, did that already run okay so scope can have multiple outputs like that so you can see both of the signals there, there's a purple line right up here at one. Okay, so any, any other questions about this? Okay, so um, let me just go over to the custom functions because that's not; those are not the only ones that you can use. Um, if you have user-defined functions, you can also have an S function. So if you have a differential <laughs> equation, you can uh, put it in there and then simulate the differential equation. Those are a little bit harder to use. Um, you can also have a, a function here. Um, that, that helps build that file for you. Okay, I, I always like using these interpreted MATLAB functions. They seem to be easier for me to use. Okay, any other questions about this?